extremely vital for people to listen. And I'm not saying don't take it from social media because there are credible sources on social media as well. I think the key is credible sources. That's what you want to go. So if it's a news outlet that's sharing information, if it's a trusted journalist that's sharing information, that's absolutely fine because once again, this is information that's vetted, fact-checked, and it's provided with accuracy. You cannot refute it. People who share information online, they don't have the luxury or the responsibility to do that. Remember, it's a general statement. I'm not saying everyone does that, but this is what we see. And th that's scary because today, if you don't have credible news, you are not getting information um, about your, your hobbies and interested topics, politics, anything, you name it. And by the way, I even go further. News actually helps build your social skills. It will, it's an excellent topic. If you're at a dinner table and you don't have nothing to talk about, you pick up something from the news and you talk about it. How about the suggestion as journalists that we focus too much on depressing news? There's a, that, you know, that often people say that it's not news unless it's, you know, sad news or bad news, you know, about shooting. We don't report enough on the positive news stories out there. Do you think that maybe as journalists we need to change our perspective on that? So recently a lot of study has been done in the U.S. Uh, alone where news networks are focusing on putting out more positive stories. As a matter of fact, at uh, ABC7 in Detroit, uh, which is also the local station, is WXYZ, we do emphasize a lot on positive stories. And, you know, it, it, positive stories are important, 100%. No one's denying that because more and more the trend shows that people want to watch happy news. But at the same time, what's happening in our communities, what's happening around the world matters. And if we don't get that information, it's, you want good, put an argument, ignorance is bliss, but for how long? How about this idea that uh, more than one in four young people aged 18 to 24 are now getting their news from social media sites like TikTok? And, and as consequence, it must be in that, you know, quite fast moving video bite size format. Is it the responsibility of journalists to go to where the audience is in order to speak to them? And that's once again a new trend that we are also shifting towards. As a matter of fact, here even in Dubai, many uh, networks are also focusing on social media, trying to get that next generation involved in news, involved in authentic, correct news. And um, if you look at most networks, whether it's here or around the world, they will have the presence on TikTok, Instagram, um, X, formerly known as uh, Twitter, and then on uh, Snapchat as well. And and it's it's about how you present news to that audience because keep in mind, you know, so there's certain audience who are who don't want to watch that kind of news. They prefer the traditional television. So I think it is our responsibility as a journalist to to get information out there for each different group. But that's also challenging as well because keep in mind, right? And we've got only a certain hour in a day, certain amount of hours in a day to get that fact, to get that news, you know, captured on on video, scripted, edited, and put it on air. And that is when you get into the arena of budgetary issues. Lots of people getting in touch. Very, very interesting to hear from everyone about how they consume news. Thank you very much indeed to this person who's texted in saying, I've been avoiding the news forever because it is depressing. Plus, we now have different sources compared to before. And the audience can have their own conclusions based on the different sources that they find to gather the information around a news story. Brian says, hi GT, I agree that the news can be depressing, some days more depressing than others, and that is why your agenda and Helen's talk show bring about a nice change, not to mention off script, where the organised chaos that is Robbie, Sonal and Chris bring some welcome stress relief after a long day of work. 
Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Play dead, will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's back and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really know just what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something of whether or not they avoid the news sometimes because they find it depressing. Uh, really interesting that only half of people are now uh, describe themselves as very or extremely interested in the news. That is down from 63% in 2017. Also 18 to 24 year olds, one in four getting their news from TikTok. Where do you get your news? Get in touch on 4001 or WhatsApp me 04871 5500. The agenda is coming up next. On the UAE's number one talk radio station, Dubai Eye 103.8. Live a little and go off script. People have been facing organized crime on the planes. Pickpockets basically going into overhead compartments. Ooh, that is boys. Yeah, we really take a lot of trust when we travel. And that you just put whatever, all your most important belongings that overhead bin. And you're just like, oh, let's just stay there. It's working, so what have you done? <laughs> I'm like traveling in the summer. You know I'm flying with twins. How the heck am I going to pay attention to all this sort of stuff? <laughs> Rob going to get everything next. Weekdays from 5 p.m. With Osman Friesen. On the UAE's number one talk radio station, Dubai I 103.8. Know what that is? That's the pulse of your hospitality enterprise. It's the network that connects your hotel operations with your guests, enhancing their experiences instantly. Connect and transform your enterprise with a range of premium cutting-edge connectivity solutions. Get unified communication and collaboration, Wi-Fi 6 with analytics, cloud connectivity, Internet of Things, and more, all running on EAN's reliable 5G and fiber networks. Connectivity solutions for hospitality enterprises from EAN, the heart of connected industries. Visit Etisalat.ae slash connected industries to learn more. T's and C's apply. 
Imagine waking to the turquoise embrace of the Arabian Gulf at Banyan Tree Dubai, a secluded sanctuary where Asian-inspired hospitality elevates every moment. Indulge in luxury and unveil 20% savings on your stay with spacious rooms, exquisite restaurants, or our renowned spa. Unwind beside infinity pools cascading into lush gardens and access our pristine private beach. Banyan Tree Dubai. Book now at banyantree.com slash Dubai or call 04-556-6666. This is The Agenda on Dubai I-103.8. Worldwide Security Center of Dubai. Shared responsibility for a secure economic environment. Hello there. Welcome back to The Agenda. Right, we are discussing where you get because that new global study by the Reuters Institute shows more people are turning away from the news. They describe it as depressing, relentless and boring. Those are literally nails to my heart because we spend our lives trying to make it the obvious, you know, obviously the opposite. We try to entertain you with the news. And so we are asking you for your opinions. What do you want from the news? Do you like global news? Do you like uh, local complexity in the media landscape around the world uh, so online social media competing for people's attention and so part of the one of the consequences of that is that people are feeling a bit overwhelmed and confused by all these different sources so i think that's part of the story so that's not to say they're not consuming the news but maybe they're trying to protect themselves from the depressing news agenda we've just been hearing about the war in the middle east and ukraine so some of these things are playing into it as well as the cost of living crisis uh, covid that came before so there's a lot of factors at play here now what's interesting is the people who are still interested in the news that sort of 40-ish percent they're actually ditching the traditional media which i suppose we fall into for other platforms like youtube whatsapp and of course tiktok and in fact tiktok's really powerful in the 18 to 24 year old age group almost one in four people say they get their news from tiktok now a little earlier we spoke to ahmad al mazuki he is a digital native. He's a content creator and project manager for a website called Emirates Love. Now, they are a platform that creates content for the different communities in the UAE, and they mostly spread positive news. And he told me why more people are turning to short videos on social media for their news. If you say the news on the TV or on your original news uh, uh, sources, they, I think they are, they are kind of long and boring. Most of the people who are uh, using social medias and uh, like seeking to know more about the news, those news are youth. So even...
100 metric tons. But then rough seas damaged the pier, forcing repairs, and poor weather and security considerations have limited the number of days it's been operational. U.S. President Joe Biden announced in March the plan to put the pier in place for aid deliveries as famine spreads across North Gaza. Military estimates the pier will cost more than 200 million US dollars for the first 90 days and involve about 1,000 service members. And Vietnamese President Tho Lam has met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Hanoi today, saying Vietnam wants to boost ties with Russia. Lam congratulated Putin on his re-election and praised Russia's achievements, including domestic political stability. Putin arrived in Hanoi early today for an official visit to Vietnam following a visit to North Korea. For more on these stories, download the Air and News Center app. Marisa Delp for Wimbledon after the former World Tennis No. 1 withdrew from Queen's Club with an injury. The five-time winner of the grass court event retired from his second round match with Jordan Thompson because of a problem on the right side of his back. Murray says he'll have scans today to find out the extent of the issue. It's all predominantly been left-sided uh, for me for pretty much you know my whole career. I've never had too many issues with the, the right side so you know maybe there's something that you know, can be done between between now and then. Euro 2024 update. With Vida Hotels and Resorts, celebrate each goal and cheer for your favourite team in the lively atmosphere at Vida Emirates Hills, Vida Creek Harbour and Vida Creek Beach. Visit VidaHotels.com for more information. Denmark goalkeeper Kasper Schmeichel believes the pressure is all on England heading into their Euro 2024 clash in Frankfurt tonight. The three Lions beat these opponents in the semi-finals of the last European Championships three years ago and Schmeichel says they've got even stronger since then. They were definitely a world class side when we met them and uh, I think when you look at some of the additions that have come in and the experience that they've gained now over time I think uh, they're uh, probably a better side now than ever. Denmark face England at 8pm UAE time tonight while Slovenia take on Serbia from 5 and it's Spain versus Italy at 11pm our time. Saudi Arabia and, and it's not only about Saudi Arabia, there's a heat wave across the globe. 
and specifically to Hajj. Your know, Hajj is a little different than Umrah. You know, like when people just go to Saudi Arabia and do the Makkah, Madina, two nights, three days, three nights, four days, and come back. But the uh, Hajj involves a series of uh, rituals that pilgrims perform, and this could be over a period of uh, you know 15 to 20 days as well. So you know, uh, it is really important that people are made aware, and this is what you know we tend to uh, inform our, our clients as well. This temperature. sweating, weakness, dizziness, nausea, uh, maybe headache and even fainting. So I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, there are a lot of medical uh, facilities available and it is it is very critical for them to know where these medical facilities are and if there are any signs of these symptoms, they should immediately contact those medical groups. Now we've got around 1.8 million people performing Hajj this year. Um, right. It's a little bit less than last year. Have you had many bookings? Is it still as popular a trip as ever? So Hajj is something which has to be done from, from your country itself. So for example, Hajj is not something that an expat can do from the UAE, right? Because of the allocation of quota that is available, right? So as, as, uh, as you mentioned earlier on the call, that brought four and a half thousand UA nationals uh, went for Hajj this year. But I think there's a there's a fair bit of allocation, fair bit of numbers coming in, let's say from countries like India for that matter, uh, who are performing Hajj. So, uh, and Hajj is something which is, which, which only a few uh, local agents are allowed to perform who are actually uh, authorized and registered as a part of the Saudi Arabia uh, body. Well, yes, and that is why I think maybe so many people are getting caught out by these scams centering around Hajj. Is it been a, I mean, there's, it's been highlighted this year, but is it something that you've been aware of for some time? Uh, yes, absolutely. We have been aware of and we have been, uh, you know, telling our, our uh, friends and families as well, whoever we know that is, is going to perform Hajj, because there is there is a, a, a general authority of Islamic affairs and endowment, which is called Afka, uh, Af you know, which is the regulated body through which only you get the allocation. So it is very critical that you don't fall into scam uh, in terms of, uh, you know, any any agent trying to dupe you. Uh, especially you need to be very careful when you make uh, payments through cash because there is no way to track that uh, kind of a scam. Right? Um, I know that the rules to visit Saudi for Hajj are quite strict. I mean, obviously you mentioned there the allocation. Are there other documents that you're required to bring to perform a pilgrimage? Uh, have the rules changed recently? I seem to think they have. Oh, so basically, uh, the the agents who are authorized, you know, they have allocations based on that. They have spec separate visa, so you can't do you can't do a uh, Hajj with an Umrah visa or the you know the one year multi entry Saudi uh, visa that is currently uh, available. So of course, there are documentation, and, and in addition to the uh, Hajj visas, uh, of course, you need your hotels and your flights and you know the other standard documents that are required as well. But what is most critical is the Hajj visa document, which only the authorized travel agent uh, has who will be able to give you. And for that, you really need to plan uh, at least a year in advance. 
Wow, okay, that is very interesting. I hadn't realised that it took so much preparation. Uh, Rickin, an absolute pleasure to have you join us on the line. Thank you very much indeed for covering all those elements of the Hajj pilgrimage. Uh, really interesting to have you on the radio. Rickin Seth there, Assistant VP at Masafia.com, the travel agent. Uh, really lovely to have you join us. And I'd love to hear from you if you've performed Hajj recently. Uh, we'd love to hear your experience. Please do get in touch with us on 4001 or you can WhatsApp us on 04871 We are. We know that there are concerns that Hajj pilgrims are being targeted by fraudsters and, and scammers. Um, and I'd love to know, you know, if you've spotted any of those scams as well. We can sort of share a library of scams with everybody else on the radio as well. So please do get in touch with me. Uh, like I said, 4001 is the text or you can WhatsApp me on 04871 Now, we've been talking about how you spend your money while um, you're going on your pilgrimage, how you book that uh, ticket. But also, um, of course, we're heading towards the normal holiday season as well. And so in the next few minutes, we're going to find out a little bit more about how you should spend your holiday money, whether or not, for example, you should exchange into cash, maybe here in the UAE before you travel, or whether you're better off using a credit card. Uh, Steve Cronin, our expert finance coach, is going to be joining us in the next few minutes. So we can make sure you don't waste a single day. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, yeah. You fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake 